Good morning everybody. Welcome to the data structures lab. Subject code is BCSL 305 for computer science and EIDS students of VTO Belagambi. Let us start with the first program. Uh, problem statement is like this. Develop a program in C for following. Declare a calendar as an array of seven elements. Dynamically created array to represent seven days of week. Each element of the array is structure having three fields. First field is name of the day which is dynamic string. Second field is date of the day, which is integer. And third field is description of activity for a particular day. Again, a dynamic string. We need to implement three functions. First one is create to dynamically create the activity and uh, names of the week. Second is read function to read data from the keyboard display function to display the content on the monitor. So before we start with the lab program, let me first directly run the program and let us understand how the program works. So I have used one third party compiler to run this program. This is a lab program description. We can see it later. So let me run the program. Once you run the program, it will ask enter date for Monday. The first day of the week is Monday. So it will ask enter the date for a Monday. So while entering the day, I have to enter it like this. So I'm going to specify day followed by month followed by year. You ensure that you are going to provide space in between because we are reading day, month and year through scanf. Then it will ask what is the activity for the Monday. I'll be just uh, writing attending the class, attending the classes. Then it will ask enter date for Tuesday. I'll just put 0 to 11, 2023. Next, it will ask what is the activity for that. I'll just write writing assignments. Next, it will ask enter the day for date for Wednesday. I'll put 03, 11, 2023. And what is the activity on that day? Activity is journal writing. Then it will ask enter the Thursday's date. I'll put 04-11-2023. So we have to supply day, month and year. So day is 4, month is November 2023. What is the activity? Again, attending classes. Right. Then I'll go for next date, 2023. Uh, then I'll be writing playing cricket playing cricket right then supply next date 2023 then on saturday planning for outing or let us say planning for movie then on sunday i'll just say take rest that's it so this is how it is going to display the output you can see day right from monday to sunday what is the date 1 11 2023 to 7 11 2023 and what are the activities on those particular day so this is how the first lab program will be uh, executed let us uh, start with the explanation of this program this is very simple program, but we have to create a dynamic string. So we have included stdio.h, uh, stdlib.h, string.h. We will be manipulating strings. This is a structure that we have used, struct day. This contains three field as per the problem statement. Day name is dynamic. So we have taken a pointer. Size of this variable is two bytes. The next is uh, date should be integer they have mentioned so we have taken dmy which is of type integer so integer has got two bytes so three variables are there total size of this uh, day month and year is six bytes and the last dynamic string is activity description again a pointer since it is a pointer it is of two bytes so what is the total size of this structure now two byte plus six byte eight bytes plus two bytes ten bytes so we have created a structure now. Let us start with the first uh, function that is create. 
what is the work of this create function is it should just allocate memory for activity description that's it and it has to initialize a dynamic array to store all the days of week so the name of the function is create return type is wide what is the input it is taking it is taking input as calendar of type uh, struct day now we can see day names it is a function variable day names is a function variable which has stored all the days of the week so what is the size of monday now how many characters we have got we have got six characters so the size of monday will be automatically initialized to six bytes similarly whatever is the size of these days that many bytes will be allocated so where monday is stored it is stored in day names of zero where tuesday is stored day names of one and so on right so the next part in create function is we have to allocate dynamic memory to activity description variable right so how many activity descriptions we can write we have to write activity description right from monday to sunday total seven so take a for loop i starts from zero it goes up to six when i is zero copy the first uh, day name that is monday to day name day name is a structure variable you can see here day name is a structure variable and day names is a function variable so whatever data is stored in day names in the zeroth location will be copied to day name structure variable right so the size of activity description uh, bu buffer size we have mentioned it as 256 bytes now allocate as many bytes through malloc what is the syntax of malloc data type malloc size into size of character what is size of character one byte what is buffer size 256 so 256 bytes will be allocated to activity description present in calendar of zero now similarly i increments again tuesday will be copied from function variable day names to structure variable day name it will take 256 as a buffer size it will allocate through the malloc so this process will be repeated seven times in order to create activity description of 256 bytes so create is a function which are just allocated memory dynamically through malloc function now let us move on with the next function which is a read we are going to read data from the keyboard function name is read what is a parameter we have passed calendar of type struct day how many data we have to read seven data so take i equal to zero it runs up to six so when i is zero you take calendar of zero dot day name what is there in that monday so it will ask enter the date for monday in dd mm yy format read day month and year through scanf after that you can ask enter the activity for day name what is the value present in calendar of zero dot day name monday so it will ask enter activity for the monday then you continuously keep reading whatever we type in the keyboard right using get lines so while loop they have used till we reach end of the line the size of the buffer will be 256 just call get line get line takes three arguments first one is uh, where we have to store the data second is address of the buffer size and third one is uh, from where we have to read yesterday in means keyboard so we are going to read uh, from the keyboard and store it in the activity description uh, the size of the buffer will be 256 bytes right so read function just keeps on executing this for loop to read what is the activity on monday tuesday so on up to sunday so this for loop repeats for seven times okay so the last function will be display so whatever data you have uh, read from the read function you can just display it as it is right so again uh, name of the function is display return type is wide what is the argument it takes calendar you can just print it you can see the output how it is you can see there is day date and activity then from monday to sunday it has to go on printing day name date and activity right so how it is um, how it is been implemented here 
प्रिंट एफ परसेंटेज माइनस टेन एस मीन्स द साइज ऑफ डे शुड बी इन टेन बाइट्स एंड इट शुड बी लेफ्ट जस्टिफाइड माइनस एज इट इज लेफ्ट जस्टिफाइड सिमिलरली परसेंटेज माइनस टेन एस परसेंटेज माइनस टेन एस प्रिंट डे डेट एक्टिविटी देन स्टार्ट प्रिंटिंग ऑल द डे नेम्स ऑफ द वीक स्टार्ट विथ आई इक्वल टू जीरो प्रिंट कैलेंडर ऑफ जीरो डॉट नेम विच इज मंडे कैलेंडर ऑफ जीरो डॉट डे कैलेंडर ऑफ जीरो डॉट मंथ कैलेंडर ऑफ जीरो डॉट ईयर एंड इट्स एक्टिविटी डिस्क्रिप्शन सो आई इंक्रीमेंट्स इट विल प्रिंट ट्यूजडेज डे डेट एंड एक्टिविटी डिस्क्रिप्शन then i increments it will print wednesday's date so this process will be repeated how many times seven times this is a third fun function so let us call these functions from main program just create a variable of type calendar allocate seven size of struct byte again malloc is a, a dynamic memory allocation function which will allocate seven different names Uh, seven different uh, locations of type struct data what is the size of struct data now as i mentioned 10 10 into 7 so it is going to hold the data for monday tuesday up to sunday right so whenever you execute malloc function or calloc function it doesn't guarantee that memory is allocated if memory is available then this variable calendar variable will point to the starting address in the memory otherwise it will point to null so whenever you execute malloc or calloc it is your responsibility to check whether memory is allocated properly or not so i am going to execute this if calendar is pointing to null i'll just print a message memory allocation failed there is no enough memory in the heap to allocate memory for the calendar variable right so if it doesn't execute it means that memory is available in the heap and whatever requested blocks of bytes are uh, you know requested that's many bytes will be allocated to calendar right so you just call create it will create dynamically uh, to store the activity description then call read function to read all the details of days in the week then you can call display function to print the content of calendar so once a uh, display work is over it is programmer's responsibility to see that whichever memory was allocated dynamically it has to be deallocated by executing the free function right so seven times we have allocated memory for day name and activity description so the, we have taken a for loop to display uh, to deallocate memory for all those uh, days right so with this i conclude thank you so much we will in next class we will start with second lab program thank you